parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the Raw Wrap-Up. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, ready to talk and get it raw. No, not that kind of raw. We're talking about Monday Night Raw, guys, having fun in here. Well, you know, some of us more than others. Uh, but anyways, we got with us, first of all, he's the only Mayhemer with a future Endeavor letter from the WWE. He is Mad Mike. And I don't know where his camera is. I don't, oh no, I never plugged him in. We oh, never checked no. cameras before this, but they can hear you, Mike. How you doing? Oh, uh, you ever just feel like Bra took a big old dump on you? Is it is it Raw or is it my day? I, I'm still trying to figure that out because I don't know how much of my day turned into how i feel about raw tonight so i'm just kind of keeping it on 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 the positive sorg are you saying that raw was the blue liquid in the porter potty of your day you you know (laughs) you know maybe maybe right there you go mike now everybody can see that and and play the guessing game of what's behind you on the shelf as we know our friend in the lucha underground world krista joseph (laughs) likes to play on the uh, mayhem underground Uh, typically that 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 is the official mad mike interview suit that is oh look at that who's he's been been talking to some people i've I've been i've been uh, people for future endeavors future endeavors future endeavors that we're wishing you the best in right yeah sure absolutely (laughs) Bringing it back around, I guess. And also, you heard the voice over there as I'm getting the camera because the preparation is definitely not one of our strong suits today. Uh, Larry's with us on the couch. Oh, Hi. Wait, let's give you a shot. There you oh, go. Larry hey. Cam. Uh, Larry uh, Cam. There you go. It's Monday. It's the hello. first It's the first podcast of the week. Yep. It's almost like we don't completely do recordings over the weekend. But anyways, uh, <laughs> Monday Night Raw. So, so uh, I, I had things to do, like getting ice cream. And uh, and 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 rubbing it on the hurt parts of my soul tonight. Uh, so um, <laughs> I, I only I came in like like almost exactly at the half point wa- uh, of Raw. I know you saw a little bit beforehand. We we mostly both sat down and watched from the halfway nine thirty point on. Yeah, yeah, I saw about a good two thirds of Raw. So so to help us out here, uh, so we can go and have a proper recap of this thing, because I want to make sure we're doing this. We want to make sure this show has journalistic recap podcasting integrity, people. Uh, so <laughs> here we don't shit the bed. Mm. Oh, there's going to be a lot of those tonight. Mm. Uh, that you know, that joke stunk. Me, it's, it's the material they provide. For. Jeez. But I, I'm looking down the line of what, okay, what did happen from Sioux, Sioux Falls, South Dakota? South Dakota? We're in South Dakota tonight? <laughs> like, they have people? Um, says the guy that came from Nebraska last week. Uh, but anyway, Ziggler and McIntyre uh, beat down uh, Reigns in the in a raw opening. What? That yeah. was the opener? That oh, was the opener, okay. apparently? I guess the, that explains yeah, the match. You like Roman Reigns. Yeah? This, this raw was for you. Oh. The, was there a lot of Roman? The show was almost half Roman. Oh. Half Roman? Man. Yeah. Uh, thankfully, the early half, I guess. Yeah. Um. Oh, God. So much Roman. I'm very excited. Uh, uh, Larry did tell me that Ziggler and Seth are going to have a 30-man... 30 30-minute 30 Iron One Man match. One of these days, there will be a 30-man Iron Man match. That will be a great <laughs> day. All right. Can we do that? Uh, Rise Wrestling, Marcus Mann, can you I th- book th- it? I, th- I think Lucha already did sure it, didn't I'm pretty sure that's called the Royal Rumble. Is that, is no, that's Royal Aztec Rumble. Warfare. It's Aztec Warfare. It is kind of, right? It is kind of Aztec Warfare, too. Uh, it's a gauntlet, it's a gauntlet yeah, match. Yeah, I don't hate. 30 minute Iron Man match Extreme Rules should be interesting. Yeah, yeah. We'll see how that goes. You know, I've, I've just filmed an amazing with, with Matt Connard and uh, Iceman Tony Johnson uh, weeks ago with Rise Wrestling. I'm kind of like uh, prepped for it, I guess. Uh, uh, so that was great. Um, we saw some of the later segments. Dr. Shelby did return. We've been, you know what? We kind of asked for this. No, we asked for it, but they is he showed us anything. He wait, 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 hold on, hold on. He's been on TV before. Oh yeah, he was. Yeah. He was the one that helped Team Hell No. With I, their well, I wasn't watching wrestling. Oh, at that you point. need to go back and watch. I that. disagree and, if he's and on the it. The thing with him, no, was, no, 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 no. They go did ahead. this over multiple weeks. Yeah, with Dr. Shelby. It was it was like a month of Dr. Shelby segments. 
fuck. Yeah, like and it was not- amazing. But here's the difference. Here's the difference. Comedic timing between Kane and Daniel Bryan. Mm-hmm. Well, also writing. Writing is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, no. Because, uh, you watch these segments. There was no thought and thought put into them at all. Mm-hmm. There was more thought put into the Bailey Sasha stuff in the WWE comic. And that's, yeah. not that's not a joke. I like, need to go back uh, and catch up with those comics, by the way. I could do a pound of blow and come up with a better script for Bailey and Sasha in the two minute segment they got in their therapy session. <laughs> and well, you know. <laughs> No, it's, it's all, like, all the all the all the ra- writing staff went to Roman tonight, and Bobby Lashley. No, let's give he? him a round of applause for his backstage promo. Oh, oh that, I'm glad I missed this part. Nope, no, oh. I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not joining you on that round of applause. No, 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 I'm not You're doing all alone. it. Did, did the sarcasm not translate? Sorry. Oh, it it did. I'm oh, still okay. not joining you for okay. it yeah. <laughs> because it the clap wasn't slow enough. I. Uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> sorry. Uh, but yeah, Raw was oh, man. Like, and it feels weird. Bray Wyatt was out. Ruby Riot was out, and I feel like both those people were sorely missed. Yeah. Uh, by the way, we gotta roll this in here. A uh, uh, name drop here. Tina Keys is saying uh, Harold from the Anger Management Group. Oh, that's the other thing. The the initially the um, uh, Kane and Brian were in an Anger Management like circle. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Harold from that group uh, is now Scorpio Sky from SoCal Uncensored, teaming with Christopher Daniels and uh, Frankie Kazarian. So kind of comes him. around, uh, you know. And then we knew he was like indie guy Scorpio Sky as well at the time too. So, but uh, that's that's definitely one worth revisiting there, Larry. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know if it it's still works in context. Just it's to... definitely way better than tonight's thing. Yeah, absolutely. Tonight was just. Shitty. Sasha, pretend yeah. that you're Bailey, and yeah. Bailey, pretend yeah. that you're Sasha. Like, unless that turned into both of them just being super, super angry together and being like, like Sorg, you're, 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 you consider yourself a video game guy, right? I consider myself one, yes. Okay. <laughs> in, in one of the newest Street Fighters that came out, there's a version of Evil Ryu and Violent Ken. Okay. Wait, really? There's a violent Ken? Yes. That's amazing. I want to do this with Bailey and Sasha. <laughs> Evil Sasha and violent Bailey. Like, just have them be a team. Have them literally destroy every other woman in the division. I kind of like that now. Yeah, they just like what if like what if like Bailey and Sasha become like what Riot Squad is trying to be? I've, I I find it insulting that they have to go to anger management in the first place. Yeah. It wasn't considering, even, considering wasn't everything even, else that happens on Monday Night Raw. Bobby Lashley and Roman Reigns like, are going at each other's throats. They get a match at Extreme Rules. Mm-hmm. Sasha and Bailey get in a fight in a parking lot. And the guy who preached ruthless aggression 15 years ago sends them to anger management or they get fired. The weird thing is... After he got his ass anger, beat by a woman and suspended her. It wasn't even anger management. When the segment started, Dr. Shelby called it friendship counseling. <laughs> what? We the can't shit? even. Yeah, we can't. We can't even keep a straight week to week on this one. Okay. Okay. Other than that, the shit's changing more than the women's battle royal like, at WrestleMania. Like that was the thing I was looking forward to the most because Sasha and Bailey had been killing it on social media. Between Twitter and Instagram, they've been sniping at each other all week. And it's been goddamn amazing. Jeez. The good stuff what? happens not on TV. Uh, hey, Mike, uh, I see I see that um, Authors of Pain, Titus Worldwide, The Revival uh, were involved tonight with uh, uh, Roman Reigns and Bobby Lashley. Mike, what is the status, do you think, of... Oh, and also uh, Hardy and... Uh, what, what was it? Uh, uh, the B uh, team. Curtis uh, the Axel. B team. Curtis Axel got, got a win over uh, Hardy. Mike, what is the status, do you think... In, in not so many words, of the tag team division on Raw, uh, if you just look at tonight. I have absolutely no idea. I have absolutely <laughs> no idea. Okay. Um, Damn, because, that was a lot of setup for well, nothing. I'm who, sorry so, about that. Who has right, the tag team so titles? Here's, uh, the, the Bray and Hardy. Oh. The, yeah. Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt are the tag team champions. And I love it. It's great. They, no, it's fine. I, I love it. it. Did you see Matt Hardy's it, word of the week? 
He has a no. word of the week. He has a word of the week segment now on their social media. What it's is, it's wonderful. What was the word of the oh, week? Of course. I don't okay. remember. I, right. I think it's. No, but, I can't remember. So here, here's the thing. Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt, they have a tag team name. Yeah. What is it? They, they, the, the leader of worlds. The what? The leader of worlds. Oh. Yeah. Which is You're, why is that disappointing? Uh, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's, it's good. Fine. It's good. Not, not everything can be the hype bros yeah. I name. Not everything can be that. It should be though. Um, they 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 have a tag team finish, which is great. Most mm-hmm. tag teams are good. What's the tag team finish? Um, it's it's like the Sister Abigail twist of fate combo. You mm-hmm. know, yeah, I, I, it works. It works. I've, I've it heard did. some people call it Twisted Sister, which makes Wait, the most I, sense. That, I, I'm okay I love, with that. I love Twist. that you were making the motion trying to figure out how that works. <laughs> like, yeah, it's okay. That way, then. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Just, just, just look up. Okay. Uh, I, I think it's like, it. I think it's like the Sister Abigail feeds into the Twist of Fate. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it, it looks good. Okay, mm-hmm. that's fine. But, but when they come out, they come out separately. Mm-hmm. They don't have combined theme music. Oh. Yeah. They don't. They don't. They there's should... a rap, there's delete, and then doom, doom. Like, it's just they're trying to put everything instead of just. It's a mashup. Yeah. It's a mashup. Hang but, it. but it's not like the rated RKO mashup. Hold it's on. A... Wait, 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 wait. What about the bar? They never had a. They never had a, a single theme. But they have an entrance designed. Around separate themes, well, which I'm okay with. Bray Wyatt comes down with his lantern, and Matt Hardy looks at it like it comes out first. Then Cesaro creeps in behind him. Yeah, that's that's a designed entrance. And plus, where the fuck have they been? They're on Raw or SmackDown. Yeah, you didn't even know because they haven't been on in a month. Oh, Mm -hmm. no, Cesaro, Cesaro, the bar had a qualifying match with New Day to see who could get in money in the bank. They lost that. They haven't been on TV since. Are they filming something? Are they filming a movie with David Otunga? I wish. I wish because Cesaro deserves it. Are they in the body issue for, for uh, Sports Illustrated? The, the Revival is fighting Bobby Lashley and, and Roman Reigns, who are not a team. One second. No, no. Actually, so she- Seamus has Yet. been doing uh, the workout videos on WWE YouTube. That's what he's been doing. Oh. 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 Okay. <laughs> And none of us have been watching it because look at us. And Cesaro's been doing Clash of Cards on Down Down. That's that's all they've been doing. But uh, like I don't I don't know what's going on with the Raw Tag Team Division. <laughs> all right, all right. Anyways, they, they so tag teams get not enough tag teams. But uh, you know we had a bit more. We had a uh, uh, Constable C- C- Corbin. This is where I I kind of came in. Where where um, it was very familiar that he was making fun of how tiny uh, Finn Balor is. Yeah, uh, literally the same angle as Big Cass and Daniel Bryan. Yeah, yeah. So does that mean Baron Corbin's been horrible? Carmella too? Is he gonna get fired? Is mm. that fingers are crossed? Like, like, did they just take the script from three weeks of SmackDown and do edit replace? Because yeah. it seems like that's exactly what they're. If Baron Corbin comes out next week with a fucking sign from a theme park that he's not as tall as and saying that that's a bad thing. I'm done. I'm done with that. Like, th- there's no creativity at all on this show. It's rough. Like, th- I think we're going to get Mike to start watching Impact again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm honestly considering it because I saw <laughs> Sammy. Honestly considering it. Sammy Callahan ripped off Pentagon's mask. Like, okay, you have me intrigued. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, but then again, that's because it's two Lucha guys. So, <laughs> hand in hand. So, are you saying if you squint, you can kind of feel like you're watching Lucha Underground? No, because I would have to listen to it. Oh. And that, there is okay. the glaring difference. Uh, Callus helps. Callus helps. Oh, you know, no. As long as you skip, you had that skip button ready to skip the uh, in-studio explanation things because they're just bullshit, you know. Uh, I, you know, it, it, I think you're, you're pretty good with it. If I can watch Impact on Silence, I'd probably enjoy it more than Raw. Oh yeah. <laughs> what if you could watch Raw on Silence? It's if I could watch Raw on Silence, I would still hate it because uh, I would know exactly what they're saying. But then you wouldn't hear Braun Strowman's fake, like disguised voice. <laughs> that that was honestly the only highlight from Raw. No. 
<laughs> that was that not was, the only highlight from Raw. That was the only highlight. No, from Raw. it wasn't. What else was a highlight from Raw? I, I don't know. I thought Bobby Lashley's <laughs> promo was kind of like great in a terrible way, like <laughs> like a car crash that's just hilarious I don't know to if watch. By that uh, works. For yeah, me. that's. Like I don't know. Trust me, I I've seen great in a terrible way, and it ain't that. No, <laughs> no. It, it, okay. Great in a terrible way is basically welcome to Impact five years ago. <laughs> I don't know, like which it, Bobby Lashley was on. Yeah, and Bobby Lashley was okay in Impact because he was a heel and he was a badass. But they can't do that because now he's just smiling, Lashley. Oh. All right, watch which direction we go with that one. Well, we no. did have, and as as discussed in the chat room, yes, the Bugs Bunny cartoon continued with Braun and Kevin Owens. Why are they fighting each other? Why not? No, because Braun has nothing to do because right. he's got a briefcase of impotence. <laughs> okay. By the way, Sorg, I will not be on tomorrow night's show. Can you please call tomorrow night's show briefcase of impotence? Oh, jeez. You're going to have to you're send gonna it have to producer. Tweet us or something. Yeah. Send it to the producer. I, will. I don't know if we have a producer for tomorrow. I'll be the producer. You'll be the producer? Executive producer Larry. Pro- executive producer, please. Executive producer Larry uh, presiding <laughs> over the mayhem tomorrow night, maybe. I'll have the sticky notes ready. Oh, Tina's telling me it's mask versus hair versus like, first slam anniversary. Mm hmm. Shit, that's mm-hmm. really is he going bald? Really good. That's really good. I, I can actually see. I, I can see Sammy losing his hair. Shit. Oh, Sammy's gonna lose his hair. Yeah. Come on, that, that's a given. I mean, have you seen it lately? <laughs> no. His hair. He's gonna get both his arms broken. <laughs> it's just gonna be a thing. It's gonna be this this, this bald double cast. Uh, you know, <laughs> angry <laughs> man from Ohio. He's gonna be Professor Xavier. It's gonna be fantastic. No, it's, Professor like Xavier. Down, can, it's upside down, Professor Xavier. Yeah, Professor it's, Xavier it's doesn't need help. Professor being. Xavier. Just let it fly. That's how you do in Ohio. Um, jeez, what the hell? Uh, so raw, <laughs> raw. Oh, go ahead. Oh, oh, sword. Hold on. We did get breaking news. We actually have an Extreme Rules match for Extreme dun, Rules. Dun, dun. <laughs> yes. Yes, oh, that's good. That's good because I don't think that's, that's, anything that's, else has a stipulation that says on stream rules yet. It was. It wasn't the main point of that pay per view that every match was an extreme rules match. It used to be, but that's like saying that every match has to be a TLC match at TLC. It wasn't every no. match had extreme rules. Every match has stipulation. Right. Every match has stipulation. Does every so. match have a stipulation? No. Nope. Nope. Other own, other than. AJ Styles and Rusev has to happen on Rusev Day. Well, no, uh, there's the Iron Man match. That's a sti- stipulation. Yep. yep, that'd be the only yeah. one. The only, like, the only other one. There's... Stipulation. That's just a bunch of matches strung together in a row. That's <laughs> a stipulation. It's a it's a match type. It's not a I, one-on-one match. match type, yes, I know. I know. I don't but, know about how extreme it is. It's but... not because you can get disqualified. No, no, it's not exactly. <laughs> you can exactly. get disqualified. You can get counted out. Which, by the way, there were a lot of countouts and disqualifications on tonight's Raw. Yeah. Can we yeah. in that? Like, if you want, I mean, two, sure. Two, we had two two-segment Roman Reigns tag matches that both ended up in disqualifications. Oh. Yeah. Fucking hey. Closure, guys. Some kind of closure. What did I sit here for? Yeah, like, have, have one of the matches have a finish. Like, is it really going to harm Roman or Seth that much if Do- if Drew McIntyre gets the fucking win? Mm-hmm. No, it isn't. In fact, it's going to help Drew McIntyre. Like, who, who, to- who, who's like, Drew McIntyre? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's, he's somebody's, been, somebody's been watching New, uh, New Japan instead is, of is, is he is he the other Diesel? He's the giant. Uh, was he Scottish? He's the, he's the other Diesel. He, was, he used to be three MB. He's big diesel. Oh, that was the other good part of Raw. You just reminded me. <laughs> what? And by good you mean <laughs> gender. <laughs> oh, gender oh, in his meditating we, was amazing. We've hindered gender, ladies and gentlemen. We oh, finally he's been, he has so been, re-hindered. He has been oh, hindered man. very badly. I'm shocked he's not fired. 
He's he's getting there. Shot. He's getting yeah, there. Yeah, he's getting there. You know, I don't think he's making it to SummerSlam, guys. This is a slow build to 3MB's reunion tour. Maybe they're all there. Where's it? Did you see what's his nuts? The other one. <laughs> what? Rhino's <laughs> Rhino sidekick. Uh, he's he's Slater? Slater. That's the he's one. Slater. Was he on tonight? I was asking. No. I, don't, I don't know. He's probably on main event. They're no. usually Elias on main event. Elias was early on. He Slater's not going to get screen time. Um, Where's Elias been? Was he on? Elias has been serenading the Riot Squad for some reason. Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. That's a thing. And his kimonos oh. are back. Sorg, I have exciting Elias news. Oh. I have exciting Elias news. So apparently this Saturday is a house show in Madison Square Garden. <laughs> yeah. Um. The main event, Braun Strowman, Roman Reigns, uh, and The Undertaker. What? Whoa. What? Yes. Yes. It's Madison Wait. Square Garden. They don't pull punches for, for a Madison Square Garden house show. Wait for it. Wait for it. Against Kevin Owens. Oh, fuck. I forget who their partner is. <laughs> Some other guy that's a heel on Raw. Jinder? And Ziggler? Elias. <gasps> Elias is going to be fighting the Undertaker. Wait, and why is the Undertaker in a six man? <laughs> because he's old, Larry. <laughs> okay. Because he's old. To protect him until he has that match with Triple H uh, for the final time oh here in uh, Australia. Is he the other guy in the six man? Triple H? I don't remember. I honestly. That's in October. Remember. That's a long ways away. No, no, it's this Saturday. No, the Australia match with Triple H. Yeah, oh. It's like October or something, yeah. Yeah, but, uh, you know, it's upside down there, so technically that's like... I can't wait to of... watch wrestling upside down! Are you saying it's October there right now? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Are we watching... Yeah, sure. Is that happening this month? Is that mm -hmm. how time works? Well, it's fall there. It's already there. occurred. It's fall. When yeah. it's spring here, it's fall there. Yeah, I mean, they so it's, call it the it's same winter month, there. So now. it's like December, just the summer month of them or something? Yeah, oh, yeah. Is it's, that yeah. how it works? Yeah, yeah it's like Christmas, so Christmas is in July. There. Christmas is in July there. Wow. Is that yeah. why we're doing Christmas in July at Sheets right now? Just in respect to... Uh, I don't know why they're doing Christmas I mean, in July at Sheets. There's no sheets in Australia as yeah, far as it, I it's, know. It's like, the, it's like the toilet water that flows counterclockwise. Oh. Is that the way it flowed in that porter potty? What is this podcast? Uh, anyways, guys. <laughs> all right. So on a curve, Larry, you watched an hour and a half-ish of Raw tonight. Ish. How much was watchable-ish? Um, Watchable or enjoyable? <laughs> we always say watchable because that's a great the other one is unfair. <laughs> okay. Well, um, I guess, I don't know. I'll give it a solid hour. Okay. It was watchable. That's good. Yeah, was there fun. are air that's quotes fun. for those of we you even on talk about the podcast. porta potty because, yeah. okay, those don't know. Oh, that pot, that porta Dutters, potty. Dutters has this porta potty thing. It's how, how she started her Instagram. Um, it's her gimmick. It's her, it's, it's, yeah, mm -hmm. it's, her, it's, it's her gimmick. So mm -hmm. we see the porta potty situation just starting to develop. And of course, we're on a USA Network app kind of thing. So we're we have usually a delay. far delayed by anybody else. This is why I can't do social media. The anymore. match was still going on. The match and still she going on. We're getting caps. They're chanting porta potties. Why didn't you tell me about this? Yeah, they're I chanting no porta potties in a place where Braun can't hear them. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I, I did no yes, idea. Yes. Which... Deep, deep in the pre-tape. Uh, yeah. <laughs> which, which is the other <laughs> debate that we were having as we were watching this? Because uh, you it, noticed... it, w it was like a very realistic version of Dora the Explorer. <laughs> <laughs> is he in the production truck? <laughs> is he behind the valet stand? No! Is he in the sedan? No. <laughs> is he in the porta potty? Meanwhile, the entire yeah! meanwhile the entire time they're telling them where he's at. <laughs> we are on, we are looking for bronze clues. We are looking for bronze <laughs> clues. <laughs> we are looking for bronze clues. Hey! Wonder where they are. <laughs> and it's even blue. Oh my god, the water is even blue. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, God. Shit oh no. Uh all right. Um I'm Thank going you. I'm going forty five minutes. Halfway there. So You're going <laughs> You watched the whole thing. Let me let me let me forty five minutes of it. That's let all the commercial time, Mike. 
I'm automatically <laughs> taking out anything that had to do with Roman Reigns. Okay, all right. The segment the segment that started off was unbearable. Both matches lasted for 20 minutes each with no finish, so they're a fucking waste of time. And all the segments in between were horrible. Um, I, I'm just canceling out anything to do with Roman Reigns because he's the most dog shit character on wrestling right now. No, hey. And that's on a show wow. where someone was literally drenched in shit. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. Um, no, but I'll, I'll say 45 because that, that took at least an hour 20 of the show. All the Roman Reigns stuff, so that's an hour 20 just gone for me. So you enjoyed um, the commercials? I enjoyed some of the commercials more. There, there, there was a fashion police commercial for Car Mat, I for saw Carfax, that. I saw which that. I loved. I was like, "Wait, these guys should be on TV more." Oh, wait, they're on Raw, and no one cares. Um, I, I love the, the um, B team stuff. The, the Axel Mahari match was very good. Uh, the women's, the Mickey versus Nia was okay. It was fine, but yeah, forty-five minutes. Because honestly, the, the 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 counseling stuff underwhelmed me so much, I didn't even want to watch it, and it makes me hate Bailey and, and Sasha even more now. Mm. Because it was so outside both their characters, and nothing was resolved. Yeah. So yeah, forty five minutes. All righty, um, I think that's everything. I don't know. I don't think anybody had answered in the chat room. I know you guys are hanging out. By the way, shout out to Brandon, who was in Seattle at the Special Olympics. I know he had a picture that he shared. Uh, he got to see uh, Charlotte. It was a Charlotte and Mark Henry, I think. Big Show was out there. Big Show, yeah, yeah. So he, he's got, he's seen some WWE out there and his part in the Special Olympics. And uh, I think, you know, shout out to everybody that, that supported him in that when we had the donations uh, going around here uh, a, a little bit ago. Uh, so good to see you out there and uh, uh, kick ass out there. I don't. Can you say kick ass at the Special Olympics? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, like, so. I mean, I know it's competitive, but it's, yeah. you know, I mean, I'm learning about it from all these uh, <laughs> these uh, uh, segments on WWE. So I, that's cool that he goes up there, and there's still a WWE connection that we can talk about him being at Special Olympics, other than he's a fan of the show. You know, it's just weird and awesome how this all kind of pulls together. So. Mad Mike at 4883 on the Twitter. Yeah, um, I don't know when I'm going to be watching Lucha this week because it is 4th of July. Mm -hmm. But uh, rest assured, when I do watch it, I will be live tweeting it. Look for the hashtag MM at, at Mayhem Show. Oh, it's, uh, Tina saying Stephanie McMahon was out, out there too. So Tina and Brandon are in like the same-ish town. They're in the same town. Are they both in Seattle? Well, I think she lives like outside of Seattle, oh. like if, like not like in Seattle. You know, it's like living in Dormont. It's what? like saying I live in New York City when yeah, I really when you're don't. in Poughkeepsie. How far away is yes. that from New York City? Larry, hi. Plug something. Uh, fuck, I don't know. You have a website. Oh, hashtag Girthquake. Yeah, um, DarkforgeStudios.com. Co, co. There's co. no M. Co. Drop the M. Does somebody have the com? Yeah, some asshole in Australia. That dick. I gotta find him. The upside pooping motherfucker. That motherfucker. <laughs> and and he's not protected. So if you go online and search that domain, you'll find his phone number. Whoa, 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 Call him. I'm calling you, Mike. I'm calling you, Mike. No, 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 no. <laughs> We're not doing that. Plus, long distance uh, uh, fees will apply. Uh, anyways, uh, sorgatronmedia.com at sorgatron on the Twitter. What? I was doing a Simpsons reference. Oh, okay. Sorry, I get zoned out. And Bart Simpson called Australia. Am I still muted? Uh, no, you're back. Okay. Um, but <laughs> sorgatronmedia.com, like a great podcast. By the way, shout out Thrifty Podcast. Um, they got a WCW card game from back in the uh, day and it's um, NWO era and it's how many is Glacier worth I don't know I don't know but it, they played it on the latest episode of the podcast are there stipulation cards like Mrs. Bagwall on a pole <laughs> I don't know if they go that far but there was definitely forklift. on a forklift on a forklift yes oh sorry it, there was definitely some some cool cool stuff going on there so um, so I definitely re recommend that this week's thrifty podcast. Uh, they also talk about aliens and, um, and, uh, it's their one year birthday for their podcast. So they're here on the Sorgatron media network. You can check it out. Sorgatron media.com. Yes. You're, you're, I don't yeah. know. You're, you're laughing. 
Okay. Thank you, everybody, joining us in the chat room live. We're here every Tuesday on the Facebook Live. Uh, thank you, Tina, Brandon, uh, Tom out there as well, and anybody else that's dropped in throughout the night. I'm seeing the numbers going. Uh, thanks, guys. Until next time, keep it raw. Raw? <laughs>